what's going on, Coach Spiders? We're back in Coney Island for the first time since August 2019. Oh my goodness, never thought it'd be this long. Uh, we're here mostly for Dino's Wonder We Are Arc because uh, the new coaster still is not open and log flume. Last time I was here, there was an old log flume right there, and now uh, there's a couple of kitty rides from Victoria Gardens, which used to be in Central Park, but I don't believe they're operating that anymore, so. Uh, yeah. You yeah, have the old, uh, kitty coaster that's over here. But, uh, yeah. Coney Island is Coney Island. And you can do single ride tickets here. You, you don't need to, uh, get a wristband, even though it's not advertised very much on the website. Remember when you freaked out on this ride? Yeah. The Ferris wheel? Yeah. So you weren't allowed to go on the Minnie Mouse, or the, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's new. Over when it was at Victoria Gardens, they didn't give a crap. I don't know. Oh wow, this thing looks awesome. Oh my god, what's cool now? You can stand completely underneath the Wonder Wheel now. That's something you could not do before. That is so cool. Oh wow, just to see them swinging out like that is crazy. Look at that. First of all, it smells like skunk here for whatever reason, uh, or some real bad weed. Could be either. Uh, that was really good. A ten dollars, uh, really good. Like that's the best one of those I think I've done. No, I like dragonfly. You like dragonfly more? I don't know. You had like good airtime at the double. It was like a double down first drop, which was fun. Nice twist. That almost felt like a junior Imolin over there. How steep you go right there. That was ridiculous. Yeah, we rode in the back seat, and I think that's the right position. We'll try the, the front seat the next time we come, for sure. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go, and uh, as I said, we're showing you everything that's new in Coney Island. So, uh, show you something that's new, but not quite open. We waited as long as we could to come to Coney Island. Uh, we did Splish Splash, and Splish Splash closed today for the season, so we literally waited as long as we could possibly do to try to get on the new stuff over at uh, Luna Park that's right next to the Flunder Boat. Unfortunately, uh, it was supposed to open in 2020, understandably why they, they, the whole park didn't open in 2020, and then, you know, things happened, and I have no idea why it's still not open. Uh, they advertised that it is opening soon, back in like July, it's now September. Uh, so something got messed up, for sure. I'm sure they're not happy about it, that's all I know. But uh, lots of changes over here. As you see, they took out the road over there and making it more into a plaza. Look at the face of a flywheel like that. And as you can see, they, they pretty much took over everything Victoria Gardens over here. So I guess that park doesn't even operate anymore. Is, is that the case, Ariel? No clue, but a man. Why? Oh, because you might not be able to get on it. Yeah. Nice I got cool the well, we could use that $4 for when the new stuff opens. Okay. <laughs> so, because I don't know if we'll do a wristband anytime soon. We, we've we done the rides a lot. We had a friend that used to, uh, uh, you know, get us uh, hooked up. So, we did a lot of stuff here over the last few years and, uh, well, before the pandemic. So, uh, this is all new. As you see, a new entrance here, and this is kind of going to be a little uh, plaza, midway type deal. I, I love the aesthetic, but I hate that it's all the same looking across the entire thing. I wish they had created different entrances that had their own unique style instead of kind of the same copy-paste thing that they've been doing for the last 15 years. Probably this year. I don't even know what's supposed to go here. I think it's just supposed to be a plaza. I don't think much more. I'm not 100% sure on that one. 
So there's a board back there that actually shows you what it's supposed to look like. There's that death machine. Actually, I don't mind it too much of, of these uh, flying coasters. I actually don't mind this one too much. But I'm not going to pay whatever it costs to ride it. What's how much it costs to ride it? Uh, high thrill. Uh, Seven dollars. No thanks. Uh, here's a rendering of what things are supposed to look like. No, they have not added anything. Oh, fun in progress. Hashtag. All right, let's go check out the, the ropes course that's been built. I don't think that's open either, though. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Salt and Sizzle is new since at least late 2019. It looks like a lot of fun. Love the lighthouse. I love the lighthouse. There's that giant rope course that's uh, in progress. The beach has apparently taken over the boardwalk. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, I think it's mostly the wind. Could it just been today? I have no idea. We're, we're not Coney Island natives. We're from Pennsylvania. Well, during the there's the RCI Sky Trail. So you're gonna be harnessed in and you're on a track so you don't have to continuously switch, uh, unhook and all that stuff. It's a really cool, cool, cool thing. They're all over the place. There's probably an FEC nearby somewhere that has one. I wouldn't be surprised. But world's tallest is at uh, American Dream. Go check out our videos. We do lots of American Dream updates every uh, few, uh, Months or so? But it is like lighter. This is not cool. I don't like sand. It's too much sand. So it looks good. Of course, you have the old Thunderbolt. The uh, 2014 edition, I want to say. Maybe 15? I forget. Yeah. I think it was 15 because. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. So here it is, uh, Tony's Express and Lee, Letty's Treasure. Tony's, Tony's Express is the roller coaster, a little mine train type roller coaster. Looks fantastic. Let's take a look at that little window that's very heavily graffitied to see what the heck is going on. I don't know if it's a direct clone from Adventureland, Adventureland in Iowa. You gotta say that when you're close, that close to it. People will be like, wait, what? I, okay. I saw a construction update from back in July and they were like hardcore working on this little booth. And like, did they get like a cease to like continue construction or something? Like, this is bizarre. But uh, here's a look at what they're gonna look like. They're both gonna interact with each other. Uh, the log flume's not gonna go over it at any point, but around it, but the roller coaster will go, oh no, it'll go below it right there. That's fun. So uh, hopefully it'll open next year. Here's something for year three or four construction. Yeah, it's like from July, it seems like no progress has been made. I don't know. You better. Okay. This is what's going on here, by the way. Are you, are you tall enough? Yes. Yeah, you got a nice view of it. There we go. That was fun. Yes, looks like this is on July. I feel like they ran into some stumble or they got a stop work order from the state. It's one of two. That's for sure. Especially with how they like went completely silent on it. Yeah, this is bizarre. Well, that's why we've heard no update from July from the park themselves. Well, we'll be back probably next year if it opens. So uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Great rides here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yo, know, this has been an empty lot for the longest time, and to have it be filled with something finally is nice. I think they have more ideas. There's gonna be another ride back there. It's gonna be this weird splash thing. Imagine a drop tower that spanned two different towers and then on the bottom of it, it has a big plow and the plow plows into the water. And it's not gonna get you that wet, but it's gonna get everybody in front of you soaked. You're probably gonna get wet too, but it looks really fun. Uh, that's also supposed to go in. That was supposed to open, I think, the year after all this was supposed to open. So if we're lucky, that will open in 2028. 
so um, I joke, I joke, it's I know. It's only 2022. Yeah, I have no idea if this is a supply chain thing, but I, I, it looks cool. And it looks like it's gonna have LEDs actually underneath the water on the drop. So that's gonna be all illuminated, the water. That's gonna look so cool at night. I could be wrong, but those little white things look like LED, LEDs. That, that's gonna look phenomenal. Uh, are they, they're gonna go with plastic lights or they're gonna RGB it? Yeah, RGB. So as you can see, I believe the first drop is gonna be a little double dip and the larger drop is gonna be one big drop. So just a quick update from May 2023. If you're still watching this all the way through, thank you so much. I know this video is kind of outdated, but uh, yeah, I got busy with travel and getting married and was pissed off about this whole situation because literally five days after we filmed this, they opened Tony's Express. However, I should be going out of JFK later this year, so we will make a little stop and uh, check out the log flume and Tony's Express and anything else new. So hit that bell for instant notifications when videos come out and uh, let's wrap up the video. All right, that's everything that's new or coming. Anticipated completion date, spring 2022. 23, hopefully. Uh, that's everything that's new or coming very soon to Coney Island at Little Park and what has already opened at Dino's. Yeah. It's amazing. They, Dino's was like, hey, we're building a roller coaster. And like, what, like three, four months later, it was done. <laughs> they got stuff done over there. It feels like Lunar Park is Disney and Dino's is Universal. Oh, yeah. It would seem. Definitely. If you know anything about yeah. construction timetables down in Orlando, I mean, if your kid's like five years old and you, you they, they still haven't ridden the uh, train yeah. at Disney World. Anyways, because it's been closed for construction of Tron. Anyways, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Oyster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you very soon. Ride Phoenix, it's awesome. I remember when there was White Castle right there. Biggest mistake they made removing it.